Let's move on to talk about some of our specialized connective tissues. Cartilage is a specialized form of connective tissue that provides flexible support to other tissues and organs. It's characterized by a prominent extracellular matrix consisting of various proportions of connective tissue fibers embedded in a gel-like matrix. This matrix is produced by cells called chondrocytes. Chondro means cartilage in Latin. Chondrocytes are located within small spaces called lacunae. A lacuna is a Latin word that means pit or space. The slide that we're currently looking at contains both a cross section and a longitudinal section of the trachea. Let's zoom in on the wall of the trachea to see our first type of cartilage, hyaline cartilage. So we're gonna aim for this little darkly staining purple area. This is going to be our hyaline cartilage. So here we can see a band of hyaline cartilage. Notice how the hyaline cartilage has a clear, somewhat glassy matrix, and we don't see any big visible fibers running through it. The Greek word hyalos means glass. Now we should note that fibers are actually present out here in this extracellular matrix, but they're thinner and a lot harder to see compared to our other types of cartilage we'll look at later. These are the chondrocytes found within their lacunae, the small spaces. Now, one other thing to note about hyaline cartilage is that we find it in joints, the trachea, the rib cage, and it forms most of the skeleton in the fetus. Our second type of cartilage is called fibrocartilage. The slide we're looking at is an intervertebral disc. That's a disc of fibrocartilage found between the vertebrae in the vertebral column. Let's zoom in and get a better look at this fibrocartilage. Now, as we zoom in, Notice that in this type of cartilage, we have these big parallel bundles of collagen. In between those parallel bundles of collagen, we can see the individual chondrocytes sitting within their lacunae. Now, the collagen fibers provide strength and help this cartilage to resist compressive forces. So think of fibrocartilage as a shock absorber. Our last type of cartilage is called elastic cartilage. Elastic cartilage is found in the ear and the epiglottis. This slide shows an epiglottis, a structure we'll learn about when we get to the respiratory system. Let's zoom in and find the elastic cartilage on this structure. So we're gonna target right over here, this darkly staining region. So let's zoom in here. Go. Nice and zoomed in. When we get zoomed in, we notice how many darkly staining elastic fibers that we can find scattered throughout the matrix. So all of these black areas that you see are elastic fibers. Also notice that this cartilage is very cellular. All of these white balloon shaped objects are lacunae with chondrocytes sitting within them. Elastic cartilage provides flexible elastic support. The reason why you can bend your ears back and forth and have them return to their original shape is because of this elastic cartilage. The last specialized connective tissue that we'll be covering in today's lab is compact bone, also called cortical bone. This type of bone is thick, dense, and highly organized. Notice all of the ring-shaped structures that look like tree trunks. These are called osteons and serve as the structural and functional unit of compact bone. 
Compact bone supports and protects soft tissues and serves as an attachment site for muscles and ligaments. It also forms the outer surface of bones.